All right, peace, love, and blessings. Peace, love, and blessings. I am back with another word. I pray you guys are having a super, super amazing evening. All right, y'all. So this message is a little lengthy. I ain't gonna try to, I ain't gonna make it too, too long, all right? Um, Father had gave me this message um, a few weeks ago. And okay, one, one part of the message he gave me on 9-11. I know, I didn't put it out. Lord, forgive me. Um, but let's let's go ahead and just jump right in. Guys, before we go ahead and jump in, please make sure you if you are Holy Spirit led, okay, if you enjoy my content, please make sure you hit the like like, share, and subscribe button. You don't have to share it, but please hit the like, okay, for the support. Amen. I am Brittany B. Whatever, just keep it respectful. And this is Trust Obey Imagine Ministries. Let me go ahead and get started. So for some of you. Now this is this is for like those who are on the King's Spouse journey. Um, some of you are getting ready to have are getting ready to be having a conversation. Okay, um, I think I want to start with this bottom part, and then I'm gonna go ahead because this is also your instruction. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna start with the bottom part. So of course the Father, y'all know He speaks to me through numbers, right? So He was speaking to me through 1255. If you've been seeing 1255, make sure y'all take these messages back to the Father, okay? But if you've been seeing 1255, 1255 in the Hebrew, it means to discuss um, I or converse together, talk of, okay? I converse together, um, conversation passing from mouth to mouth. Then he kept showing me 559, which means to utter, to say. And so what I seen was... Um, this was about this was in a book of job page 593 in my bible and it highlighted a silent friend decides to speak up it says elihu out of nowhere proposes new ideas about suffering i have another message on suffering too i gotta i gotta put that out so anyways i'm sorry um so what does 593 mean you know because that stood out to me so 593 means to disapprove by implication to repudiate disallow reject and so the scripture i have is mark 12 10 and it says and have ye not read this scripture the stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner so the point of this quotation is simple, okay? God can turn things around and do great things with what it looks like, what, what looks like rejection and disaster, okay? Um, I was seeing 11.44, which means a tear. And the scripture that was associated with this on, on this page, it was Mark 9.24, and it says... And straightway, the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thy mind unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter him no more. So for some of you, your person is coming to talk, okay? And they may also be coming to cry out for help, okay? Okay. Um, they want to fix what's been broken. You know, their spirit has been broken. They need prayer. They need prayer and they need help. Okay. Um, he was showing me 318, which also means necessity, constraint, compulsion. There's a need to force violence. Um, also means in a pressing situation, a compelling need requiring immediate action, a strong force needed to accomplish something compulsory. The kind of situ this kind of situation is typically brought on by great pain or distress. Okay, so something has taken place, something has transpired with your person, which brought on great pain and distress, and they want to have a conversation. Um, 
they've also been crying because father been showing me the, the word um the numbers 421 which means to well so i've been seeing them crying as well but here's your instructions okay it's going to lead into it it says someone is about to have a conversation with you okay this could be your spouse it may not be the type of conversation um that you're thinking you're going to have there may be some things that's spoken about that may be some, that may be unpleasant okay but it's necessary it's it's, it's a very well-needed conversation this will be some sort of confession of acts behavior and deep feelings the father is saying to be slow to speak and quick to listen he said do not be haste he said do not hold on do he said do not be haste in your heart to utter okay so don't be quick to utter anything that would be offensive okay don't be quick to say anything just because you and your feelings or maybe you you disagree about something he said let your words be few no matter what is said okay keep your heart full of love do not seek to be understood in this hour but seek to understand so that the matter can be settled ask god for wisdom knowledge and understanding and let the father take the lead remember that a soft answer and a gentle answer turns away wrath so you are to be soft humble meek and gentle you guys may have been in a separation period for a while okay or it, you know it was a temporary separation but this is a conversation that is going to bring y'all back together gradually okay i ain't gonna say it's going automatically you know it's still a process so i was seeing 2020 which means rescue deliverance okay and i was seeing 444 which means open door okay the door is open and you will receive relief and you will find rest in your new home okay so this could be connected to you even transitioning into your spouse's home or this could be just connected in for you um going to a new home okay take it back to the lord for some of you, your person may be opening their home to you after this particular conversation. God was showing me 909, which reminds me of Zephaniah 9, verses 9, rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout, daughter Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a cart, the fowl of a donkey, okay? So again, this is for some, for some of your spouses. They will be returning to you to make peace, okay? For some of y'all, the conversation, it may not start off good, but it will end well. This will end with a smile instead of tears, okay? Um, this is the end of silence. Your cards will be laid on the table. So this is the opportunity for you to also um, express yourself as well. But let them express their self first, okay? Zip it up. Ask God to help you with self-control. Zip it up, okay? Um, control your tongue this will be some it will be a lengthy conversation for some of you i said so make sure y'all got some water on on the side um this also could even lead up to you know an emotional conversation okay because the feelings is just so intense just so so intense right um for some of y'all this may even be a proposal okay so um just keep an open mind there's going to be a lot of apologies apologies okay there may be some things that you may have done that offended your person as well i don't know but this is your opportunity to also clear your slate hey you know if i've caused any offense in any way if i made you you know uncomfortable or you know made you feel a type of way da -da -da -da, i apologize you know this is this is y'all cl cleaning the state clean mm, clearing the slate you know what i'm saying this is your heart to heart conversation, okay? So if there's apologies, if your person if this person is apologizing, you know, listen, even if you feel like you haven't done anything wrong, just be humble, just humble yourself and just well listen, you know, I'm sorry you felt how you felt. I apologize if I made you feel any kind of way. Da -da 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 -da, okay? Be Holy Spirit led and walk in love, okay? Clean the slate. Nobody has time. Life is too short. Nobody has time to keep holding grudges and pointing the finger and saying well you did this to me you did this again stop seeking to be understood and seek to understand okay because some things that you may have done you might not have seen it in their point of view and it might have offended you 
I mean, it might have offended them and vice versa, okay? So learn to take yourself out of your own shoes and put yourself in their shoes, you know? Y'all both are two imperfect individuals that has dealt with certain things, traumas, unhealed wounds, and you guys may have triggered them, you know, um, not on purpose, unintentionally, okay? And so just how you might have triggered, they might have triggered you in a way where you was like, oh, I'm done, I can't keep doing this. You might've triggered them when you said you was done. You might've triggered their rejection wound or their abandonment wound. So whatever the case is, just make sure, you know, your heart posture is right, okay? Don't just sit there and just think that everything was their fault, you know? Because sometimes, you know, when you take yourself outside of situations, sometimes we could be at fault too let's just be real we might not see it how they see it until they show us how they viewed it okay and same thing if you want them to understand how you how they offended you in whatever kind of way then you got to also be understanding as well for them too okay so again seek to understand not to be understood so yeah, so this there's gonna be a lot of truths coming out, a lot of apologies taking place. This will be a face-to-face -face conversation. For some of you, this may be, I don't know, because y'all might live far away from each other. So for some of you, this may be a face a FaceTime call. Or for some of you, this may just be a physical face-to-face -face conversation. Okay. Um, sometimes these type of conversations are best to have face to face, but if you can't, it's okay. So father was showing me Ezra 10, okay? And that talks about confessions and stuff like that, okay? I want you to understand that God's promise still stands, okay? Um, do not judge them. Whatever they tell you um, in secret, you let that be between you two. You don't tell, I don't care who it is, if it's your mama, your daddy, your best friend, whatever. If they're telling you something you know, in secret, that means they trust you, okay? If they're telling you things that they may have struggled with, you know, they trust you, okay? So you are to to, to, to keep that between the two of you and don't judge because God would, in the same manner that you judge them, God will also judge you, okay? Um. So yeah, yeah, God gave me that particular word on 9-11. So yeah, there's a confession that's coming, Um. Father was also highlighting October for me um, about confessions taking place. If y'all want to just take some time to read Ezra 9 and 10 um, and also 8, okay? Um, but many are coming back. Many he house heads of the households are coming back from being exiled from, from this place of suffering, okay? And there will be confessions happening, okay? There can also be, I ha have a separate message, but there I've been seeing 104 and 107. So um, for some people, some people might be getting a random letter, a random letter of an apology, whatever. Um, but yeah, there are confessions coming and I believe many of them will be happening before the month of October is over. For some people, um, um, you know, it could be October of next year, okay? But take it back to the Lord. Do not hold on to the exact dates just know that confessions are coming apologies are coming um and you are to walk in forgiveness okay you are to be humble you are to be patient because what is love love is patient love is kind okay do we gotta read you know even if you gotta study what love is okay i'm gonna read it to y'all if y'all gotta study what love is you know um remember to walk in love okay love is what patient okay love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered okay so we're to be slow to get angry no matter what's being said no matter what truths is being said no matter how difficult it is try not to be easily angered okay it says it keeps no records of wrong, okay? So whatever is brought up, it's erased. Charge it, charge it to the Father, okay? Philemon, I believe it's Philemon 118 or something like that. Um, whatever wrong they have done, whatever offense they have caused, whatever, whatever they owe, whatever the case is, 
charge it to the Father, and you walk in forgiveness. You accept them the way Christ accepted you. And you forgive them the way Christ has forgiven you. Okay? Um, but it says, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects. So you're, you're, you know, you should be trying to protect their feelings. Okay? Don't be so judgmental um, because they already suffered enough. You already suffered enough. You don't want to cause any more pain or offense for them to, you know, go back in turtle mode and go back into their shell. Okay. So be open minded, walk in love, walk in compassion as God has just how God has compassion as the father has compassion for his children, how God has compassion for us. You are to be the same way, compassionate towards your person. Okay. It always trusts, it always hopes and always uh, perseveres. Okay, so again, walk in love. Confessions are coming. I strongly believe for many confessions are will a lot of confessions will be happening by time um by the end of October. This is for some, and if you don't get it by the end of October, then obviously the message ain't for you. Okay, but again, um, that's all I have for you. Peace, love, and blessings. If you feel led to sow into this ministry, my information is in the description box below. Um, and I will be back when the Father releases me. I'm out. Peace.